um, just a bit of a um, demo of our um, latest EV kit that we're doing using the uh, ME1718 motor here, which is a smaller, it's a, it's a closed frame motor, it's a radial flux motor, so, and it's quite, quite compact as you can see compared to the older ME1117, ME1118 motors. And so we've got this connected to a 48 volt size 2 controller there, um, just with our standard uh, EV kit harness um, set up here. And so we just want to do a bit of a demo today, um, showing, some, showing what it does. Uh, and we'll get it fired up and uh, loaded up. So we'll turn it on here. On. Now we've got, which I'll, I'll show later, we've got a few different throttle types as well. So I'm just using this one to start with. I'm going to put it in forward. If it sounds quite noisy, it's because it's driving the other motor at the moment. We have a load motor connected up here, which um, provides us with a load. So we'll just do, a, we'll run a little load test with it. So if you do a close up here of the, um, of the screen there, Gav, we'll get it fired up and I'll try and load it. It's hardly breaking a sweat there, it's not even warm. So yeah, um, now I just wanted to show you a couple of different throttle types that we have for these kits as well. All these throttles are interchangeable, so we just unplug them here. So that was that was this one, which is a, a lever. Handles, handles pretty good. We've got a, um, a foot pedal here. snazzy foot pedal, you can put it on the firewall of your, your vehicle. Move forward. Move forward. <laughs> so we, we leave, you see, it doesn't, doesn't, we leave a bit of dead zone at the beginning. We can, we can, we can configure that out. But it's good to have a little bit of pedal before you actually something starts to happen. And the third type we've got is one of these nice knobby things. As, as usual with all our kits, we have a forward and reverse, so you can run, run the thing backwards. And we also have an eco mode switch, so you can flick it into eco mode, which uh, just basically halves everything, halves the RPM, halves the, halves the um, current, the power. 
um, and we have, we've got a regen braking pot here. A lot, of, a lot of people ask us when they buy these kits, they say, what, what's the potentiometer for? Well, it's to adjust the regenerative function on the controller so that you can have, um, when, when you take your foot off the pedal, uh, it, it can adjust, it can do like engine braking and that energy then goes back into the battery pack. So I think that's, I think that's kind of covered the basics of it.